We popped in to Hope Technology to find out about their Citizen and Miano machines. We're in one of their turning cells right now. We're having a chat with Lindley Pate from Hope Technology. Bit of background first though, Lindley. Um, the business initially was founded in 1989 by a couple of ex Rolls Royce engineers. Um, started off doing tool making for the aerospace. A lot of local aerospace companies around here. So we did uh, jigs and fixtures and tool making for them. Um, as the mountain bike scene started to grow, the two um, original owners were keen trials riders, motorcycle trials riders, used mountain bikes for training, discovered the brakes weren't up to scratch, and the rest is history. They found out they couldn't stop in time, so they thought we'd do it ourselves. They, they just developed things um, over time to the components that you see today. Yeah, really impressive, and you've got your Citizen sliding head, your Miano fixed head, why do you like them so much? Um, a lot of it is, for one thing, is the compact, very compact machine for what you can actually produce. Um, the amount of air you see here, I have 11 Citizen uh, stroke Myonos in here. Quite a small space. Very accurate machine, um, very sturdy and, 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 and super efficient. We are going to have a chat with one of the, well, a couple of the guys about, because they're actually running um, every day. But one thing I, you did mention about the bar, which was quite interesting in terms, you could use extruded bar. You can do on the fixed head machines, you're not tied to the drone material which we normally use on the sliding head. So I can use a standard extruded bar from the rack, which is common to the other turning section. It means I don't have to source um, more expensive drone material, but also I can just have one stock and one supply of material. Nice and easy, so fast, accurate, small footprint. I'm going to have a chat with some of the other guys and yeah. find out more about them. No problem, thank you. Oliver, latest apprentice to Hope Technology, that's correct? Yeah, I've been here since last summer. Right now, they obviously trust you because this is the, the top end of their machines. They've got a whole range of um, Citizen sliding head and Miano fixed head. So what machine are you operating? Uh, I'm operating the twin spindle and twin turret Miano. Uh, easy to use? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Uh, I haven't been fully trained yet, but it's uh, fun to use. So, Oliver, what are you manufacturing on this machine? Uh, well, today I've just swapped it over to the left-hand thread, standard bottom bracket. Uh, we turn it down to size and then we thread it externally and we bore it. And then on the second side, we have a four mil end mill that comes in here and does all the slots. And then we bore the uh, bearing dyer. Okay, so bar fed machine running 24 seven, holding tolerances all day? Yeah, correct. <laughs> and what's the other part here? Cause that looks more, well, uh, milled. This is a milled part that were like a custom for the LED lights that we manufacture. Uh, this is done on the same machine, but it's more done milling and not turning. So you say it more milling than turning, so in terms of holding the component then, because you've got the twin spindle on this machine. Yeah, uh, we've custom made collets using the EDM machines upstairs and wired out uh, the feature face of this so it can grip it uh, just like that or on the second side. So holding tolerance is nice and accurate, nice and fast and nice and easy to use. Yeah, absolutely. So you're a big fan? Yeah. <laughs> Oliver, thank you very much. Steve, we just had a quick chat with your newest apprentice who absolutely loves his citizen machine. But can you tell me when you got your first citizen machine? Uh, well, that was the first, first citizen machine came in about uh, eight, nine years ago, I would say. Uh, and we liked and we reviewed which ones to get and we weren't sure. But once we got citizen, we liked the, the backup they gave us. Uh, so we've got about another four citizens on top of that, various models, basically from a 16 up to a 32. And then we decided to incorporate some fixed head machines, so we went to the Mianos and we, we like them as well. So, so you got 11 sets of Miano machines in total, is that right? Yes, I think that's about right, yeah. So you got the first one. Why did you like it so much, though? Because that was a sliding head one, the A20? The A20 was the first one we got. Uh, as opposed to the ones we had previous, it was the online programming that we liked, that we could edit, whereas the other ones we had previously to that, you couldn't. Uh, so we like that side of it, uh, and, and basically the, everything about the citizen, they were NC, machine, it's NC machining at the time that we're doing it, and uh, yeah, the whole package was was. Comes out the whole package. Now you said about um, online program, you use Fanet controls, though, is that right? We we have one out of Mitsubishi, but the rest of Fanet, yes. Is that just because you know the know the control? It's easy. Fanet's yeah, yeah, and then we have a maintenance guy that knows Fanet inside out. Okay. Now, you mentioned earlier with this sliding head machines, it's not about sort of your real high precision things like that. It's, it's knowing that you can turn them on, leave them running, is, and know that, that you can come back in a day, two days. Yeah, well, the, the, the beauty of it being our own product, we're not chasing times and, and uh, having to be competitive with other people. So if we can run a job that runs 
unmanned for a longer length of time, obviously it's more cost effective. Yeah, great example. Was it was a compression valve? The brass compression olive. Oh, sorry, uh, olive, sorry. Yes, uh, we can set that up on a Friday afternoon and by Monday morning we'll have something like 5,000. So, and you, yeah, no, there are going to be no issues whatsoever. No issues whatsoever. Okay, that's your slide, sliding head. Now, moving on to the fixed head side of things, you've got single spindle, single turret, twin spindle, twin turret. Yeah, yeah, both good. Uh, the fact that we can finish jobs completely without any deburring or anything like that. So when it comes off down the parts catcher, that's it, it's finished. Now, a great example of that, and I'm not sure the exact name of the component, is it, is it the sprocket? The barrel. the barrel. Yeah, the, the barrel that goes on the, for, the, for the rear chain. Uh, so I have been listening to all the components you've been saying, sorry about yeah, that. No, but. it's all right. Uh, yeah, that has two bearing diameters, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, have to hold a very high tolerance. So, and it, it pretty much, once, it, once it's settled down in the morning, it hits that all day long without having to touch it. And again, you're not hammering the machine to really, really fast and really hard, but you're getting that accuracy. Yes, that's basically it we, we want. We don't have to chase times, so we'd rather have it running well. So with the barrel, it's got to be really accurate because it's holding two bearings? Yeah, so one bear, <coughs> bearing in either side, some spindle and main spindle, and it turns that and it's, uh, the limit's all one. Okay, now also in terms, I mentioned you're not really sort of chasing those price and things like that because it's your own product. Now in terms of your things like your coolant, your lubricant, what are you using there? I'm using Castrol Care Cut Neat Oil, Neat Cutting Oil, and uh, it seems to work fine. We're, we've no reason to change it. Uh, and again, no pressure in terms of uh, tool life and things like that? No. Uh, beauty of not using exotic materials, we're basically aluminium and free cut stainless and brass. Uh, Tool life really is exceptional with it. Now, looking around the machine shop, you've got a, the, the full sort of solution here from your bar feeders through to your swalker bays. Sitters and handle that all for you? Yeah, they come in. They have a company that does the bar feeders. They come in and fit it. But all the dealings are done through Citizen. And I think uh, Lindley mentioned earlier, basically, you know the product so well, you could order one tomorrow. And that's not, that's not a leading statement to their salesman. But you could order one tomorrow. At, uh, well, order one today and it'll be here tomorrow and running. No pressure. Uh, maybe not so such short lead time, but uh, they are very good yeah. with the delivery times, yeah. yeah. But also you know the systems and things like that, and you've had the service of support. Yes, we have the service support, because uh, every machine we get comes with like a five day package, so the application man comes in, but we never tend to use them, so I think we've banked something like two or three weeks with Citizen that we can use, we can call upon if necessary. All right, so that, that guy on the other end of the phone, he has an easy life, so when that phone rings, like, what's, what, what is this? Yeah, so we just, he answers any questions, so yeah, it's been very good. Excellent, so you love your Citizens, you love your Mianos, um, what's next? Well, maybe another, maybe another A20 could be on the cards, because one of the older, other makes is fading somewhat, about 19 years. <clears throat> so, yeah, another A20 could be on the cards in the future. And maybe another Miano. Yeah. Who knows? I think, in quick summary, you like the machines? Yes, we will st definitely be sticking with Miano and Citizens. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.